Everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Dare from the Deep. When we last left off, we had achieved a great and mighty thing, and it would be improper for me to repeat it, but let us just say that a certain knight has now become a knight. Welcome, Sir Prozakonek. You have now become a true knight with a true sense of armor and honor, and all the other good things that happen. We. I believe we have some Aquanauts en route already. Yes, we do. So it's just a case of waiting. There's the thermal tasers. And there's the operatives. I was, well, accidentally. I will intercept up here. I've been asked to scout out the northern area above Siberia. Now. Let us name these new operatives, shall we? Aquanauts, that's the one. First is Gunther Zaria. Now we have some new subscribers we can add to the list, so let's do it, shall we? So come forth. First we have... Dippel... Dippelom? Dippelo? Map! Yes, hope that fits. It fits! Woo! Good. Diplom Diplomatheus. Haha. <laughs> Welcome to the squad. Next we have Nikolai. Nikolai shall be known as the Gangster Kitten. As opposed to a standard kitten. This is a more gangster variant. We also still have the Mirrored Reflection. So it's always good to reflect upon one's mirrors. And we have some other knightly names as well, such as Don Quixote. We have a dream, but unlike my grandfather, I should not sing the song as soon as it's mentioned. Alfredo Escobar. I had Alfredo last night. And this is Blackbeard's ghost. It's always good to have a ghost of a black beard. Uh, jolly, of course. And Olga Bakovich. She sounds like a wannabe baker to me. That's right. Uh, MLO Evaras, you should be known as Navi. Why not? And Stefan Netero, you should be known as Severus Sleep. Let's quickly sever those names from the list of good names that we've got given to us, handed down by our operatives. Um, and subscribers. Excellent work, my fellow mind slaves. We've lost tracking, so we shall continue to try and follow the submarine. Can we do it? It's a good question. Let's see if we can. I don't think so. It's not looking very hopeful, is it? No, it isn't. Okay, well, in that case, return to base. Let's see if the Triton can cook up any any good things. The score is getting pretty shockingly low again. Do we need to take out another alien colony? Maybe, maybe. Aha! We have detected another alien colony! What better thing to do than attack it impulsively? Hmm. Let's just return to base for a moment. Because we have time to consider our options, such as equipping the submarine and making sure that all the thing is hunky-dory. We got... Uh, we could, I suppose, one MC Disruptor. Is Jolly fully healed at this stage? No, he isn't. 25 days to go, yeah. Jolly is out of the picture in a big way. But we'll get there. Let us make sure we can equip some good weapons to these operatives. We have two new sonic cannons. Off screen, I was happily sonic cannoning it, cannoning it, it up. Uh, it's been suggested I have two knights, so we'll give that a shot. What's the worst thing that could happen? A horrible, painful death for all involved. MC reader, of course. Thermal pulses. 
We are low on the Disruptor Pulse Launchers. Only a single uh, salvo of torpedoes, unfortunately. Which is regrettable, but... See what we can do. I'm just aware that a, a Darth of Disruptor Pulse Launchers is not a good thing. Also a bit of a lack of thermal shock launchers as well. It's not boding well for this particular squad. But we'll see what we can achieve after they refuel. They have now refueled. Let's attack alien colony number seven. Seven, eh? I don't remember killing seven before. It must have been there for a long period of time. But it should give us the needed score boost to keep in the good books of the UN nations. The UN nations, that's right. Magnetic Iron Armor! Oh, an enhancement for the Iron Armor, incorporating the magnetic array technology to allow full freedom of movement in the aquatic environment. That's right, it uses a big magnet on the back, and that makes him float. It's equivalent of flying underwater. We can now research the new fighter flying sub. We shall research the new fighter flying sub. Let's research the new fighter flighting sub, shall we? Aha! Research it, you scientists! Cool! We can now produce magnetic iron armor. We shall stop producing standard iron armor, and we'll start producing the magnetic stuff soon. Currently we're making some cannons though, because we ran out of cannons! Kind of losing the squad can tend to do that. Alien Colony number 7, it's ready to begin! Let us do so, shall we? And now let's attack the alien colony, eh? Any death out here? No? No death? This is a good or bad thing? Haven't decided yet. There's the door. You seem to be in the same position as last time. Our disruptor pulse launcher wielder is here, the King of Rome. The King of Rome is ready to unleash. Well, he was ready to unleash, but he accidentally moved because I clicked on the tank and failed. So. The tank will just have to do. Of course, the tank delivers in its usual, usual way of not working. The Tasty Molecule shall instead have to do. Thank you, Tasty Molecule. Sometimes, you just have to rely on the molecules of it. And that's the moral of the story. Absolutely. Well, we can't see anything at the moment, but hopefully that, does, that doesn't change. So Prozekanek shall stay over here. Tooth and Claw, the two heroes are pretty obviously identified because they're in Canary Yellow. We now know how to pronounce this person's name. It's Ksan. 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 Something like that. Um, yes. Trust me, I know how to say these things. Um... Really? That's probably it for this turn, because I don't want to make any mistakes. Let the Earl of Trousers come out, shall we? The Earl of Trousers. Earl of Trousers too. A door? And that's it! Well, armed with a bountiful anticlimax... Anticlimax... Anticlimactic ending! And, as usual, misclicking on our operatives. It's a great thing to do. I love it. We shall... ...apprehensively attempt to shell the main complex. Like so. Good work, King of Rome. Next turn you can reload your gun. Like a true champion. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll call it a video. And when we come back, there'll be more of this XCOM business. There will be terror, and it will be from the deep.